What's going on lads? It's your boy Cameron here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So, just before the video begins, I'm just going to say uh, there won't be face cam in these videos for a little bit. I am getting that sorted. Uh, it will be sorted soon. I will have face cam again, so sit tight and it will come eventually. Um, but also, uh, I've been gone for about a week. I think I haven't uploaded since Christmas, so I'm sorry about that. I didn't give any notice or anything like that. I haven't uploaded. Uh, that is because it has been Christmas. Family have been over. I have been doing things. So that is literally my only reasoning for not uploading. So I'm sorry about that, but I should be back. I'm not going to promise ever a video every single day this week uh because there could be stuff going on in new years and stuff but for now this is what we're gonna put up with a video every now and then but i'm gonna try and post as many videos as possible but just be warned it might not come out every single day so on the screen now we've got andre we've got a trade for andre drummond we're doing a detroit detroit pistons a realistic rebuild we are trading andre a drummond's here for mark gasol terrence davis and a first round pick uh, i think this would be a good idea for the raptors to go after and also the detroit pistons are not exactly off to the start that they wanted that they were expecting and i think it's time that the pistons should just blow up the team and rebuild uh, that's just what I'm thinking anyway. Let me know what you guys all think down in the comments below. But this is what I think. The Raptors give up Marc Gasol, who's an expiring deal anyway. So even if Drummond opts out, it doesn't really matter. They get capped flexibility. But if he does opt in, then they, he could also be flipped next season as well. So I think Andre Drummond would be a nice upgrade over Marc Gasol. I think this would be something nice that they would do. I think also for this to work, the Raptors would have to give up another a second round pick at least. So yeah, I think that's what something would do. So I think that's something the trade's going to be. This is a Detroit Pistons realistic rebuild, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see uh, see a uh, Raptors side of this rebuild uh, of this trade as well. So let me know down in those comments if you guys want to see a Raptors side. But this is what we are working with at the moment. We've got Blake Griffin and Derek Rose, who are our probably two biggest trade pieces that we could use. Uh, we've also got Reggie Jackson, Luke Kennard, Christian Wood, Marcus Gasol. We have Marcus Gasol on our team. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to try and trade Blake Griffin and Derek Rose. I'm going to look for a trade. I'll see you guys when I have a trade sorted for these guys. All right, we have this trade here for D'Angelo Russell and Blake Griffin. I think this will be a good swap. I think uh, the Warriors would be probably be getting, would probably want maybe even a probably a future first round pick from the Pistons to do this trade because I think D'Lo is worth a bit more than Blake Griffin at the moment just because Blake is 30 and D'Angelo's 23 so I just think that's the only reasoning why uh, the F Blake Griffin will give the Warriors a forward which they desperately need and D'Angelo Russell will give the Pistons a young guard which they can use to rebuild around give D'Lo his own team that's what I'm thinking anyway so it would be something a bit like that, so add the exception. Yes, please. So, I th wait, hold up. i got to turn this on real quick. Just a sec. I'll make this happen. All right, there we go. All sorted. We've got the Golden State Warrior. We've got the D'Angelo Russell and Blake Griffin deal done. I'm going to look for a trade for Derek Rose, which is kind of upsetting because I do like D. Rose on the team. But, however, we probably should trade him. He's on a two-year deal and a very cheap deal. But I think we should probably trade him. I'm going to look for a trade for D Derek Rose here, guys. Just a second. Righto, we have a trade here for Derek Rose and Reggie Jackson for Aaron Gordon and Mo Bamba. Plus three second round... So yeah, three second round picks, sorry. So yeah, this is what I think a trade could go down. Uh, it's the magic, so anything can happen. I'm sorry if you guys are magic fans, but it's the magic. I think they would probably do this trade because they think they're contenders. So yeah, I think they would probably do this. Uh, didn't give up yeah, their young pieces in Gordon and Bamba. So that's just what I'm thinking anyway. So our roster so far is looking quite young and uh, inexperienced. So this should be a fun season. So hopefully we can keep going and get a pretty bad record, which would be very nice. So we actually do have quite a deep team, if I'm being honest. We do have a deep team. I mean, we can get rid of Langston Galloway and stuff. It's just we don't. We have D'Angelo Russell, who can be a very who who can be who would uh, develop into a very nice player for us. And uh, yeah, we have Tony Snell as our starting small forward, which is very upsetting. But it should be alright. I'm gonna give Luke Kennard, Aaron Gordon, and Mo Bamba a lot of minutes because I'd like to see those guys progress for us nicely. Um, and Marcus Sol is an expiring deal. So contract-wise, I think we are okay. 
What's our contract situation? We got D'Angelo Russell locked up. Marcus Gasol's expiring. Aaron Gordon we got locked up, so he's probably using a trade. We Tony Snell has one plus one. Uh, Langston Galloway. Are we able to just flip him for like a pick or a young guy and a pick if possible? If possible, that'd be nice. Ed Davis, Taj Gibson. Not ooh. JJ Redick wouldn't be nice because we're not contending. He's not what I want. So there's real, yeah, there's no young guy and a pick being offered that we can flip Langston Galloway for. What about Tony Snell? Are we able to flip him for a pick and a young guy? Not looking like it. So looks like I'll just hold on to those guys for this season. I'll simulate the rest of it. I'll see you guys down at uh, with our final record. All right, so we finished this first season with a 30 and 52 record. Giannis is the MVP. John Morant, Rookie of the Year. Dennis Schroeder, Six Man. Kawhi, Defensive. Bam Adebayo, Most Improved. And Mike Budenhauser, Coach of the Year. Do we get any Detroit Pistons on these teams? I'm expecting that's a no. No, it's not. Uh, actually, no, we get D'Lo. I forgot. I am uh, actually blind. I think I'm blind. Um, do we get any Defensive Pistons? No, I'm not expecting. And no Rookie Pistons either. So... We definitely do not make playoffs, which it, well, I mean, definitely, I mean, we don't make playoffs. We have 30 wins, which, I mean, somehow got me a bit scared, you know? It got me a bit scared, Um, but we finished with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we got the fifth best odds for the pick, first pick. Hopefully, we can get lucky. Let's see how everyone did here. Player stats, d 28, 3, and 6. Aaron Gordon, 15, 7, and 2. Canard, 14, 3, and 5. 10, 1 and 1 for Galloway, Gasol, Bamba, Wood. So there we all go there. That's nice and all that. Team stats here. Points per game. So the Pistons, we were 25th. Our defense was actually a lot better than I expected. 13th worst and our differential was about 5th, 6th worst defense, was it? Yeah, 6th worst defense. So that's that. I'll simulate these playoffs. I'll see you guys with the champions. Alright, so the Lakers are the champs and LeBron James gets his finals MVP for the Lakers there. So I'm hoping that we can possibly move up in this draft somehow. Do we actually? Yeah, we do have our first round pick. And it does have the fifth projected odds. And we get fucking screwed over. We get the seventh pick. Fucking mint, lad. All right, let's go. Team, uh, staff signing here. Uh, Dwayne Casey, I'll keep you around for now. If not, then I'll probably fire you next season. But we... Oops, shit. I went the wrong way. I'll offer that to our trainer. And we need our boy Michael Williams to come help us with this rebuild. Re Randy is not coming back. Coming near Z. No, he's not coming to our team. Fine. I get Taylor Stewart for a season. And uh, two training camps isn't the worst, I guess you could say. So we get all that. Let's go down to the draft. We actually got screwed over in that lottery, guys. We got screwed over. We got the seventh pick. So... What are we going to do? I kind of want to move Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon and this pick. See what we could get. Tobias. Mm, Buddy Hill, D. Rose, Drew Holiday. Okay, maybe I'll use the seventh pick then. I'll use the seventh pick. Why not? Let's go into the draft. Let's assume to use a pick here. So seven. Hopefully someone can fall to us at seven. So what do we need? We need a center. A small. We need a small forward. I mean, we got Diumbia, but James Wiseman is here. We could use James Wiseman, which would be handy. Because we got a point guard in D'Lo. We've got a shooting guard. We Do we have a shooting guard? Yeah, we have a shooting guard in Luke Kennard. We need a small forward. We've got a power forward in Aaron Gordon. And we've got a center in my bumble. So we could probably just look for a small forward. But there's the best small forward here is Jordan Nawara. And I'm not wanting to put the seventh pick on him. So what I want to do, I'm going to pick up uh, RJ Hampton. I know that's probably a bad... You guys are going to be like, what the hell are you doing? But I'm going to pick up RJ Hampton and then use him in a trade. I'm going to try and trade him for a small forward. Hopefully, that could work for us, you know. Um, and we'll just take on the best guy here, Alpha. We'll take on Alpha. There we go. So, I am going to sign RJ Hampton. Because I would have liked to have gotten um, a small forward. But we're going to sign, pick up RJ Hampton. And uh, actually, let's go to team player options first. And make sure everything... We got Tony Snell's contract as well. So, what we can also do then... Is use RJ Hampton and Tony Snell. So Tony Snell and RJ, could you guys get me a small forward, please, lad? Tobias is not what I'm looking for. Zach Levine, not bad. Lou Will, Graham, Mitchell Robinson, and Randall, D. D. Rose, Lonzo, Dejounte, Culver, not bad. Okay, so what if instead of taking giving up Tony Snell, I just keep RJ Hampton? Just put RJ Hampton up. Cam Reddish. 
mm, Devontae Graham. There's like guys here that I would like to use, but at the same time, it's like, eh, don't really want to bring Blake Griffin back, eh, Culver? Like, Culver's nice, but you also get a first. All right, I'm going to look for a trade here, lads. Just a sec. You know what? Stop it. Let's just keep RJ Hampton as our backup point our backup point guard for now. Qualifying offers. I am going to offer it to none of those guys because I don't want any of them back. Hopefully, we have a bit of cap space in free agency. Do we? We need to free up three mil to go after someone big. Three mil. Tony Snell, your contract's huge, lad. Let's get rid of you. Uh, Cleveland probably don't need another small forward atlanta don't need a small forward i mean it's an expiring deal maybe they could take it on phoenix don't need a small forward timberwolves don't need a small forward portland don't need a small forward so what i'm thinking cleveland are the stupidest franchise so sure we'll do that um sorry if you guys are a cleveland fan um let's just go over here and let's go in moratorium so what i'm thinking is if we go after like a Brandon Ingram or a Brandon Ingram, I reckon would be dope. So if we offered Brandon Ingram all that, would he want to come to Detroit? No, he doesn't. He's going to go back to the Pel Pelicans. Fuck. All right. Um, what else could we go after? What other low key guys could we go after? Marcus Morris is the next best small forward. I mean, DeMar DeRozan's there. What we could do is sign and trade DeMar. That could also work. Okay. I, I mean, that could work if he went like that, got DeMar DeRozan, and then signed and traded him. Um, and then I'm also going to think about it, and we've got a center in Bamba, small forward, power forward. Power forward would be actually kind of dope. I don't see uh, AD coming to the Pistons, but if we did offer him a deal, there's no harm in offering him a deal. He, I mean, he was interested, but he would prefer to go to the Lakers or the Knicks. So, I mean, fair enough. Uh, we get DeMar DeRozan there. I'm not going to match those guys. Markeith Morris. Uh, Christian Wood, I'd like bring, to bring back, though. Um, Louis King. Blake Griffin. Renounce rights on them. So, yeah, we get DeMar DeRozan. Markeith Morris, we're not going to renounce rights on Markeith. I mean... Yeah, actually, let's get rid of him. Christian Wood's the only other guy that I would like. Brandon Ingram decided the Pelicans, and AD decided the Lakers. So we did pick up DeMar, which we are who we are going to probably be signing and trading. So hopefully you guys agree with me there. So what I'm thinking here is DeMar DeRozan, could we sign you and then trade you away for a younger player please if possible that would be lovely all right found a trade here for andrew wiggins and Jarrett culver and kata bates diop we give up demar Derozan, uh two firsts from cleveland and toronto bruce brown and a top three protected detroit uh first round pick so that's what i'm going to be doing there and then i'm going to move andrew wiggins to the small forward position that should be nice so we've got one two three four five so we do have a starting five which i am kind of low-key a bit iffy about so what i can do is if i go gordon plus because we got culver we don't need diumbia anymore so if we go aaron we can get our horford who's going to regress though so are we able pj washington Ooh, i like that i do like that oi 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 i like that mitchell robinson pickup plus we get what's his name uh mitchell robinson and paul Millsap. i do like that a lot because then i can flip paul Millsap real quick uh for someone i guess mitchell robinson oh okay maybe not maybe maybe not too much i like this pj washington plus gorgie dang so i'm gonna do this i'll grab up pj washington from the hornets i like him as our power forward and then gorgie plus um someone like a cater bates diop could we move these guys for a boy what do i need real quick what do i need i got point guards we got shooting guards i guess uh, we got small forwards, we need a power forward, we need another power for or a center, yeah, if we trade in Gorgie Dang, then we need another center, so Gorgie Dang plus, um, if I went uh, Terrence, no, if I went uh, Kyrie Thomas, Gorgie Dang plus a Thomas, could we get a center, Daniel Gafford seems to be a good piece, I think, oh, Gafford, all the Lopez brothers, I think Gafford will probably be the best, he fits in with our timeline a bit better, so yeah, I'll pick up this Daniel Gafford and a first, so what do we got? Two point guards, two shooting guards, two small forwards, two power forwards, which I could probably upgrade, and two centers. So if we could pick up another power forward in Jabari Parker, he does fit our timeline a bit as well. So if we went Jabari, 
Would we, could we possibly pick up a Jabari? Thank you. Can we also get Christian Wood back as well? I mean, we can offer him that. If, he'd want it, if he wants it, it's there. So um, we can offer him that. Hopefully he can accept the qualifying, but I'll see you guys down at training camps because we've got a full roster. All right, two training camps here, lads. Let's go down to untapped potential. And I'm probably going to give it to Mo Bamba and PJ Washington. Actually, no, I'll give it to PJ Washington. And I'm also going to give it to Jabari Parker or Luke Kennard, I think probably. Yeah, I'll give it to Luke Kennard because I'm thinking he's going to be our starting shooting guard for this entire video here, lads. So hopefully we can do that. Uh, I'm going to sort, of sort all that out. I'm all good with the roster, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're definitely okay. I'll sort out our rotation and stuff. I'll see you guys with a rotation for the second season, lads. Okay, so for the second season, we are running a D'Angelo Russell, Luke Kennard, Andrew Wiggins, PJ Washington, and Mo Bamba starting five. We then have Jabari Parker, RJ Hampton, Terrence Davis, Daniel Gafford, and Jarrett Culver coming off the bench. Our scoring options are D'Angelo Russell, uh, Andrew Wiggins, and Luke Kennard. We then have a seven-second system. It's four stars. Seems to be the best fit. NBA.com have the uh, Detroit Pistons. Pistons at 24. 2K Sports have us at ooh, at 12, and Eric has us at 24. So let's see what we can do. I'll see you guys after this second season. All right, so this second season, we go 27 and 55. Anthony Davis is the MVP. Zion, Rookie of the Year. Schroeder, sixth man. Kawhi, defensive. Frank Nielakino, most improved. And Mike Budenhauser, coach of the year. Do we get any Pistons? On any of these teams, we do not. Do we get defensive? Probably not. Do we get any rookies? Maybe. Yes, we get RJ Hampton, all rookie second team, which is nice. Do we get playoffs? We definitely don't because we have 27 wins. Um, league, st league standings, let's see where we were. One, two, three. We have the third best odds, so let's hope for that there. Hopefully, we can get lucky here. Uh, player stats, 22, uh, 27 and uh, 2 for D'Angelo Russell. 19, 3 and 4 for Wiggins. 14, 5 and 1 for Jabari Parker. 13, 2 and 5 for Kennard. 12, 4 and 3 for RJ Hampton. 10, 10 and 1 for Mo Bamba. PJ Washington was nice. Culver, Gafford and Terrence Davis there. Team stats here. Points per game, we probably, yeah, we're 27th and our defense was 10th worst. So, uh, okay, very nice. Well, I'm going to simulate these playoffs real quick. I'll see you guys with the champs. The New Orleans Pelicans are the champs and Zion is MVP. So, hopefully we can get a bit lucky in this lottery and actually get this. Oh, we actually have projected second best pick and we get the third pick so i mean that's not as bad as going down to seven so staff signing we're gonna go pick up a new trainer here and i'm also going to pick up mike d'antoni as our head coach so we should be okay all there let's go down to the nba draft here so we have the third pick i think we possibly could use it unless we can get something for jabari parker in the third pick what could happen here i did see oh a jalen brown not bad and andre drummond's the fourth pick and Willie Colley Stein of Vukovic. It's a bonus. It's a bonus and Lamb's not bad. That does upgrade us at power forward. Okay, I do like that DeMontes the bonus deal. But what do we what do we have at the moment? Who's our starting power forward? PJ Washington. And then what do we have? We have Wiggins at small forward. Sensors, Mo Bamba. Luke Kennard's our shooting guy. Okay. So yeah, what we could do is pick up DeMontes the bonus, which I am actually okay with picking up DeMontes. Okay. I'm going to have you with that. I pick up DeMontes and Jeremy Lamb. That's cool there. Let's go down to rookie signings because we don't have our first round pick anymore. Oh, well, we did. We have the 50, we had the 15th pick. Sorry, guys. I didn't see that. But we're going to bring all three of those, all four of those guys back. That's nice. We're going to bring back, hopefully, those three guys as well. Luke Kennard and Terrence Davis is for sure. And maybe even Cater Bates D up. Uh, for now, let's go here. Let's go here and give Luke Kennard his, bit, his money that he wants. Uh, Terrence Davis, we're going to give him money to, and Cater Bates Diop. I mean, I'll give him a bit of money for three years, I guess. I'll do that. We get three our three guys there. Justin Holiday is a no, and we're all good there. So those are the only three blokes that we really need, and then we should be a okay for the rest of this. Oh no, we're going to have to match those ones. Okay, sure. I mean, I'm not I'm not too fast with cheaper deals because that just means that I have a little bit more cap flexibility, I guess you could say. But I'm good with that. Um, but we, yeah, okay. This is the last season, so I'm not too fast either. So here we go. Jeremy Lamb's a bonus. I think we actually have a pretty good team. We got two, three, four. We don't even need Terrence Davis anymore. 
Uh, we need a small forward is okay. P power forward, we don't need Catabates D up, and we could probably go for another another center. So what we could do then, if we went Gafford and Davis, could we possibly get another center that we could use as our backup center? Not really. Okay, what a shame. All uh, right, I'm just gonna sim. I think where I'm good with this team. I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, we got three training camps here. Let's go down to untapped potential, and I would. My bomb is an A plus, so that's all good. I'd like to give it to Luke Kennard. I'm also going to give it to... Oh, no. I'll give it to Andrew Wiggins. And I might actually give it to D'Angelo Russell. I mean, he's only an A, so sure. I'll give it to D'Angelo Russell. Hopefully, those guys all progress for us this final season. But I'm going to sort out rotation and proficiencies and all that. I'll see you guys once it's all sorted. All right. Our rotation for this final season is D'Angelo Russell, Luke Kennard, Andrew Wiggins, DeMontes Sabonis, and Mo Bamba. We then have PJ Washington, RJ Hampton, Jeremy Lamb, Jarrett Culver, coming off of our bench. We have D'Lo, Wiggins, and Sabonis as our scoring options. We're still running a seven-second system, so let's hope that works out for us. I'm going to simulate this final season. Hopefully, we can put up, have a good record. I'll see you guys with our record for this final season. All right, so we finish with a 43-39 and 39 record. Steph Curry is the MVP. K Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Lamelo Ball, Sixth Man, AD Defensive. RJ Barrett, Most Improved. And John B. Lyon, Coach of the Year. Yeah, so uh, do we get any Pistons on any of these teams? We do not. Do we get any defensive Pistons? We do not. Do we get any rookie Pistons? We do not. Okay, but we finish as a seventh seed in the East. Gee whiz, lad. Seventh seed. All right, we made playoffs at least. Player stats, uh, D'Lo 21, 2, and 7. Wiggs 23, and 4. Sabonis 15, 12, and 2. Bamba 13, 11, and 1. 11, 3, and 4 for RJ. Luke Kennard, 10, 2, and 6. So we had a very nice scoring from everyone. It's awesome to see that we had a, quite a, that much of a deep team. Points per game, we were fourth. Our defense is what let us down. We were the third worst defensive team in the league, and our differential was 16th. So we made playoffs at least, so that is a good start for this season, eh? So for the playoffs, I am going to bring the minutes down for our bench a little bit. I am going to make RJ Hampton the sixth man. Uh, Mo Bamba can come up. Same with Sabonis. Actually, Sabonis can stay the same. Sorry about that. My phone did kind of vibrate there. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do all that. Uh, let's simulate round here against the 76ers. Let's see what goes on. Hopefully, we can. if we can, we did win one game. So that's awesome to see. If we win two games, that's even better. Um, but we're, I'm expecting us to lose in about six or seven games here now. Uh, game six, and we lose in six games, like I um, I predicted. So our roster for this rebuild was looking like a D'Angelo Russell, Andrew Wiggins, Sabonis, Mo Bamba, PJ Washington, RJ Hampton, Jeremy Lamb, Luke Kennard, Jarrett Culver, Daniel Gafford, Terrence Davis, Cater Bates, Diop. So very, very deep young team. I think this would be a very nice team for the pistons to put together but i'm going to leave that video here hopefully you guys all have enjoyed if you did please be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new uh, help show your support we just hit 500 subs the other week so it would be absolutely amazing if you could sh keep showing your support guys and try and get us to that thousand mark that would be absolutely phenomenal if we could hit a thousand subscribers that would be ridiculously cool if we could do that but yeah i'm going to leave the video there hopefully you guys all have enjoyed i will catch you guys in the next video